An incredible Mesolithic burial of a child contained enlightening grave goods that reveal ancient ritual interment practices. Artifacts made of bird feathers, plant fibres and animal fur were buried with the child. On the basis of archaeological research, it was possible to identify the human remains as a child who may have been laid on a bed of down in a Stone Age burial site discovered under a gravel road in eastern Finland. Researchers say there may also have been a canid, a dog or wolf, at the child's feet. The exceptional excavation of the Stone Age burial site was carried out in Majunsuo in the municipality of Utukumpu in eastern Finland. The excavation produced microscopically small fragments of bird feathers, canine and small mammalian hairs and plant fibres. The findings were gained through soil analysis and were said to be unique as organic matter is poorly preserved in Finland's acidic soil. The study, led by archaeologist Tweedja Kirkonen, was aimed at investigating how these highly degraded plant and animal-based materials could be traced through soil analysis. In Finland, during the Stone Age in general, the deceased were interred mainly in pits in the ground. Little of the organic matter from man-made objects have been preserved in Stone Age graves in Finland, but it is known on the basis of burial sites in the surrounding regions that objects made of bones, teeth and horns, as well as furs and feathers, were placed in the graves. The Archaeological Field Services team of the Finnish Heritage Agency examined the site in 2018, as it was considered to be at risk of destruction. The burial site was located under a gravelly sand road in a forest, with the top of the grave partially exposed. The site was originally given away by the intense colour of its red ochre. Vivid red ochre, or iron-rich clay soil, has been used ceremonially in burials and also in rock art around the world. In the archaeological dig at the burial site, only a few teeth were found on the deceased. Research revealed they belonged to a child between 3 and 10 years of age. In addition, two transverse arrowheads made of quartz and two other possible quartz objects were found in the grave. Based on the shape of the arrowheads and shore-level dating, the burial was estimated to have taken place in the Mesolithic period, roughly 7500 BC. It was said that what made the excavation exceptional was the near-complete preservation of the soil originating in the grave. A total of 65 soil sample bags, weighing between 0.6 and 3.4 kilograms, were collected, in addition to which comparison samples were taken from outside the grave. The soil was analysed in the archaeology lab of the University of Helsinki, where organic matter was separated from the samples using water. This way, the exposed fibres and hairs were identified with the help of transmitted light and electron microscopy. From the soil samples, a total of 24 microscopic, that's 0.2 to 1.4 millimetre fragments of bird feathers were identified, most of which originated in down. Seven barbules were identified as the down of a waterfowl. These are the oldest feather fragments ever found in Finland. Although the origin of the down is impossible to state with certainty, it may come from clothing made of waterfowl skins, such as a parka or an anorak. It is also possible that the child was laid on a down bed. In addition to the waterfowl down, one falcon feather fragment was also identified. It may have originally been part of the fletching of the arrows attached to the arrowheads, or, for example, from feathers used to decorate the garment. Beside the feathers, 24 fragments of mammalian hair were identified, ranging from 0.5 to 9.5 millimetres in length. Most of the hairs were badly degraded, making identification no longer possible. The best discoveries were the three hairs of a canine found at the bottom of the grave. The hairs may also originate, for example, in footwear made of wolf or dog skin. It is also possible a dog was at the child's feet. Professor Christina Manama said, Dogs interred with the deceased have been found in, for example, Skateholm, a famous burial site in southern Sweden dating back some 7,000 years. The discovery in Manjunsuo is sensational. Even though there is nothing but hairs left of the animal or animals, not even teeth, we don't even know whether it's a dog or a wolf. She added, the method used demonstrates that traces of fur and feathers can be found even in graves several thousands of years old, including in Finland. It is possible to identify a handful of the hairs as those of small mammals. It is entirely possible that they are of a secondary nature, the researchers said, that is, not intentionally placed in the grave. Yet it is possible that moleskins were utilised in prehistoric times. For example, the fur of the European mole has often been a valuable commodity. Also discovered were three fragments of plant fibres which are generally preserved particularly poorly in the acidic Finnish soil. The fibres were what is known as bast fibres, meaning that they came from, for example, willows or nettles. 
At the time, the object they were part of may have been a net used for fishing, a cord used to attach clothes, or a ball of string. For the time being, the only other bast fibre discovery dating back to the Mesolithic is known in Finland, the famed Antria net on display in the National Museum of Finland, laced with willow bast fibres. A fibre separation technique was developed in the study and is already being applied in subsequent research. The project has demonstrated the great archaeological value of soil extracted from such sites. The study itself was part of a project called Animals Make Identities and was published in the PLOS One series. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.